Hi, I'm Dave Apsley with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at Leo Petroglyph in Jackson County and we're going to introduce you to pitch pine. Pitch pine is an infrequently found species that typically occurs on the dry ridges here in the unglaciated hill country of southeastern Ohio. Um, it's not very common. We believe it was somewhat fire dependent, so the numbers are probably lower than they used to be. And when you do find it, it's not going to be in big blocks or patches. You're going to find them isolated or scattered along the dry ridges. They typically will have a nice straight stem and a very small narrow crown. This tree is a little bit different in that it's growing along an edge in a parking lot, probably a little bit better soil and site conditions than it's normally used to, so it's got more of a spreading crown. So how do I identify this species? First of all, you'll notice the needles are very long. It is a relative of the southern pines, and it's got needles that are, the keys say, three to five inches in length. I've actually measured these needles, and the longer ones are actually almost five inches, five and a half inches in length. Um, they're very stout, they're long, and they're in bundles or bunches of threes. So remember, long needles, three to five inches, and again, typically closer to that five, they're a bit twisted and they're stout. They're also going to form a very broad or obtuse angle with the twig. They can almost be at a 90 degree angle. So when you look up at the crown of this, you're going to notice very large, heavy or fat twigs and needles that come off at almost a 90 degree angle. You'll also notice it's got a fairly large bud, about three quarters of an inch in length, kind of reddish brown. It might be somewhat sticky or resinous. Um, and then the cones. It's got beautiful little cones. Um, they're about three inches in length normally. They tend to be a light color when they're new cones, a really light colored tan. They're going to have sharp prickles like the Virginia pine would have, but again, lighter colored and more of a tan colored. Uh, pitch pine also has some really unique bark. It tends to be a really dark furrowed bark. Um, it almost looks like sometimes like it's, there's been a fire through there and it's been scorched or burned because it's so dark at times. And then one of the more unique fe features of pitch pine is that it'll produce epicormic branches. So you'll actually have sprouts of needles right on the main bowl of the stem. Sometimes eye height or, or very low on the stem, um, and that's not where you'd expect needles. Most pines aren't capable of sprouting, but pitch pine is. So it has these little buds that occur just under the bark and you'll see little needles peeking out from under the scales of the bark. So once again this is pitch pine, Pinus rigida, and it occurs down here in the southeastern portion of the state. Thank you and be sure to take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.